Hello friends. On March 29, 2025, the world will witness a spectacular partial solar eclipse. A celestial event that captures the imagination and curiosity of sky watchers and astronomers alike. This eclipse will be a visual feast for many across parts of Europe, Northern Africa, and Northern Asia as the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, partially obscuring the Sun's light. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon's shadow casts upon the Earth, leading to an intriguing dance of light and shadow that has fascinated humanity for centuries. During this astronomical phenomenon, viewers can experience the awe-inspiring transition from daylight to an otherworldly twilight. Understanding the mechanics and viewing opportunities of this eclipse is essential for anyone interested in celestial events and the workings of our solar system. In this video, we'll explore everything you need to know about the partial solar eclipse of March 29, 2025. From the science behind eclipses, to how you can safely witness this event, complete with viewing tips and historical significance. So get ready to embark on a journey through the cosmos, where we unravel the mysteries and wonders of this upcoming eclipse. The alignment of the Sun, Moon and Earth plays a crucial role in creating solar eclipses. When these celestial bodies line up perfectly, the Moon casts a shadow on the Earth partially or fully obscuring the sun's light, leading to different types of solar eclipses. A total solar eclipse occurs when the sun, moon and earth are in a straight line, with the moon positioned directly between the sun and earth. In this perfect alignment, the moon completely covers the sun's disk as seen from certain locations on earth, turning day into night momentarily. Observers along the narrow path of totality experience a dramatic view where the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, becomes visible as a shimmering halo around the moon. However, due to the moon's orbit being tilted about 5 degrees relative to Earth's orbit around the sun, this perfect alignment is rare. More often we observe a partial solar eclipse where the Sun, Moon and Earth are not perfectly aligned, causing the Moon to cover only a portion of the Sun. In a partial eclipse, the Sun appears as a crescent, and this event can be seen over a much larger area than a total eclipse, though the Sun is never completely covered. An annular eclipse happens when the Moon is farther from Earth in its elliptical orbit. In this case, the moon appears smaller in the sky and cannot fully cover the sun, even when aligned. This results in a ring of fire effect, where a bright ring of the sun surrounds the dark silhouette of the moon. Understanding these celestial alignments helps us predict and appreciate these awe-inspiring events. Each type of solar eclipse, total, partial, and annular, offers a unique opportunity to witness the dynamic relationship between the Sun, Moon, and Earth. By exploring these natural phenomena, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate workings of our solar system and the beauty of the universe. The upcoming partial solar eclipse on March 29, 2025, offers a unique opportunity to compare this celestial event with past eclipses and explore the differences in their characteristics and visibility. Each solar eclipse has its own distinct features, determined by the alignment and distance of the Sun, Moon and Earth, as well as the specific path it traces across the globe. One of the key differences between the March 2025 eclipse and previous eclipses is its path of visibility. This partial eclipse will be visible across parts of Europe, Northern Africa and Northern Asia, offering a broad viewing area where people can experience the Moon's partial coverage of the Sun. In contrast, the total solar eclipse of August 21, 2017, known as the Great American Eclipse, was unique because it was visible across a wide swath of the United States, from coast to coast. The totality of that eclipse captivated millions as it darkened the skies across the country, providing a rare and dramatic celestial display. 
Another notable eclipse is the annular solar eclipse of June 10, 2021. During this event, observers in parts of Canada, Greenland and Russia witnessed the ring of fire effect, where the moon appeared smaller and left a bright ring of sunlight visible around its silhouette. This phenomenon differs significantly from the upcoming partial eclipse, where the moon will only obscure part of the sun without the distinctive ring of light. The total solar eclipse of July 2, 2019, primarily visible in parts of South America, provided another spectacular show, plunging regions into brief darkness and offering astronomers a chance to study the sun's corona. Unlike the upcoming partial eclipse, which will not lead to complete darkness, total eclipses like this one offer a profound experience as the sun's light is entirely blocked. Comparing these eclipses helps us appreciate the diversity and complexity of solar eclipses. The March 2025 partial eclipse will be accessible to a large audience across several continents, providing a chance to observe a fascinating natural event. While it won't bring the dramatic totality or the fiery ring seen in other eclipses, it will still be an opportunity to witness the dance of celestial bodies in our sky and learn more about the mechanics of our solar system. Understanding these differences not only enriches our appreciation for eclipses, but also emphasizes the unique experiences they offer to observers around the world. As we anticipate the partial solar eclipse on March 29, 2025, we have another exciting event to anticipate later in the year. On September 21, 2025, a partial solar eclipse will occur, providing another chance to observe the fascinating alignment of the Sun, Moon, and Earth. This eclipse will be visible over the Pacific Ocean, with regions like Alaska, Hawaii, and parts of eastern Russia experiencing partial visibility. Although it won't offer the complete darkness of a total solar eclipse, the partial coverage of the Sun will still provide an impressive sight for those lucky enough to be in its path. After September 2025, more captivating eclipses are on the horizon. On August 12, 2026, a total solar eclipse will take place, casting a shadow across parts of the Arctic, Greenland, Iceland, and northern Spain. During this total eclipse, observers in the path will experience the dramatic moment when the moon completely covers the sun, turning day into night for a brief period. Following that, on February 17, 2026, an annular solar eclipse will occur, presenting the striking ring of fire effect. This will be visible from parts of South America, the Atlantic Ocean and Africa, where the moon's distance from Earth allows a bright ring of sunlight to encircle the moon. Further ahead, on January 26, 2028, another total solar eclipse will pass over Australia and New Zealand. This event will offer viewers in these regions the opportunity to witness the mesmerizing sight of the sun being entirely obscured by the moon, showcasing the sun's corona in all its glory. These upcoming eclipses highlight the enchanting and dynamic nature of our universe. Each event offers a unique experience and an opportunity to connect with the cosmos. By marking these dates on your calendar, you can ensure you won't miss these breathtaking celestial spectacles, whether you're a seasoned eclipse chaser or a first-time observer. One of the most important aspects of viewing a solar eclipse is protecting your eyes. Looking directly at the sun without proper protection can cause serious eye damage or even blindness. To safely observe the partial solar eclipse, you should use special eclipse glasses or handheld solar viewers that meet international safety standards. These devices are designed to filter out harmful ultraviolet and infrared rays while reducing the sun's brightness to a safe level. Regular sunglasses, even dark ones, do not offer sufficient protection and should not be used. If you plan to view or photograph the eclipse through a telescope, binoculars or a camera, it is crucial to equip them with a proper solar filter. 
These filters should be placed over the front of the device to prevent concentrated sunlight from entering and causing damage to your eyes or equipment. Ensure that the solar filter is securely attached and free from any damage or scratches before use. Never look through a camera's viewfinder without a solar filter, as this can result in severe eye injury. Another safe way to observe the eclipse is through indirect viewing methods, such as a pinhole projector. This simple device can be made using a piece of cardboard with a small hole in it. By holding the cardboard so that sunlight passes through the hole and projects onto a flat surface, you can safely watch the eclipse's progress as a small inverted image. Similarly, you can use everyday objects like a colander or your hands to create multiple pinholes and observe the eclipse. To maximize your eclipse viewing experience, choose a location with an unobstructed view of the sky. Open spaces like parks, fields or hilltops are ideal for avoiding obstacles such as buildings or trees that could block your view. Additionally, checking the weather forecast ahead of time can help you find a location with clear skies ensuring that you don't miss this extraordinary event. If you're interested in capturing photos or videos of the eclipse, plan ahead to make the most of this opportunity. Use a tripod to keep your camera steady and experiment with different exposure settings to capture the eclipse's various phases. Remember to use a solar filter on your camera lens to protect both your eyes and your equipment. Consider including the surrounding landscape in your shots to add context and create more engaging images. Watching a solar eclipse is a memorable experience that can be shared with family and friends. Organize a viewing party to enjoy the event together, or join a local astronomy group that may be hosting eclipse viewing events. Sharing the excitement of the eclipse with others can enhance your enjoyment and provide opportunities to learn more about the science behind this celestial phenomenon. The partial solar eclipse on March 29, 2025, is a remarkable event that offers a chance to witness the beauty and intricacy of our solar system. By following these safety guidelines and tips, you can safely enjoy this astronomical spectacle and create lasting memories. Remember, preparation is key to a successful eclipse viewing experience. So gather your equipment, find the perfect spot, and get ready to be amazed by the wonders of the universe. Thank you for joining us on Partial Solar Eclipse. Please like, comment, and share the video. And please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.